another one bites the dust. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today we're going to talk about a failure of Sony and uh, one that I honestly saw coming. I didn't even get into the second season because the first season was just so boring and bland and lackluster to me. But Powers has been cancelled after two seasons and Powers is Sony's original content that released on the PlayStation Network. If you have PlayStation Plus you can watch all of it for free. And it was their new initiative. They wanted to, to go into a different direction and create new content for gamers. And Powers, for all intents and purposes, for me, was a very underwhelming show. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation's original series Powers has been canceled after two seasons. Sony's experiment with PlayStation-based original programming could be coming to an end with the cancellation of Powers. The service's first and only TV show. Co-creator and comic author Brian Michael Bendis wrote this news on Twitter this afternoon. Quote, This is hard to tweet, but word is that Powers is sadly no more. I'll type more about it later, but thank you all for your support. Such a fantastic personal experience that you gifted to all of us. End quote. The show starred Charlotte Copley as Christian Walker, a detective specializing in the investigation of crimes involving superhumans called Powers and it spanned two seasons and 20 episodes before its cancellation. Sony made a concerted effort to promote and distribute powers beyond the world's PlayStations after plucking the show from development at FX. The first season remained available on the company's Crackle streaming service until it was yanked in May of this year, and the second episode of the show's second season is still available on YouTube, where it's nearing 5 million views. Powers is also going to continue his life as a comic series. Bendis tweeted that two issues of the new storyline called Diamond Days are, quote, already in the can, end quote. For what it's worth, Bendis seems optimistic about a TV renewal somewhere in the distant future. When a fan asked about the possibility of the show returning, he noted it's millions of YouTube hits and that, quote, people behind the scenes believe in us, end quote. If that's enough hope for you and you have a Sony console handy, you can check out Powers and cross your fingers. Uh, well, to me, this just wasn't a good show, especially when we're in the world of all the superhero stuff going on. We got Marvel, you know, hitting everything out of the park. We got DC uh, underwhelming for the most part on everything. I'm going right now in an hour and a half. I want to go see Suicide Squad with my wife. And from everything I hear, it's another DC blunder. But all these things perform better than shows like Powers. You know, it'd be different if it was a Netflix superhero show like Daredevil or Jessica Jones. Those shows are amazing. And, and, and they're gritty and they're hardcore. Uh, Powers just did not, it didn't have that fire. It didn't have those characters that excited me you know everyone from the, the 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 central star of the show to his sidekick with the eyes of zazu from lion king uh to the enemies all these old guys nobody really cared about them. it just to me i lost interest probably after four or five episodes i finished the first season and i didn't want to go back and see anything else of it to all the actors who are part of the project you know i, I wish you all luck we all know that sarlto copley is going to you know continue to be a, a force to be reckoned with in, in hollywood but you know the show just wasn't good to me and i'm no you know i'm not a tv show pundit I'm just saying as a regular person who watches a lot of TV and watches a lot of movies, it just didn't keep me hooked. It didn't have that hook for me. Uh, the, the powers that people had seemed kind of boring and, you know, these bright colored costumes and all this crap just didn't really do it for me. You guys let me know. You guys let me know in the comments. Did you watch Powers? Am I wrong? Should I have watched season two? Uh, do you agree with me that it just didn't have that draw, didn't have that gravity that pulled you towards it? it kind of pushed me away from it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.